Naam, hujambo mtazamaji na tumai umekuwa na mchana mwema jinsi nilivyomie. Karibu kwa taarifa zipendazo za jukwaa la KTN ambapo kila siku tunakuletea matukio ambayo yamegonga vitu vya habari katika maeneo mbalimbali, hususan katika maeneo ya county. Lakini leo tunaelekeza darubini katika mchujo wa vyama ambao ulikamilika kumekuwa na kesi nyingi ambapo zimekuwa zikishughulikiwa katika vyama mbalimbali. Uh, chama cha Jubilee kimetoa orodha ya jinsi vyeti vitakuwa vikitolewa kwa wale walionyakuwa ushindi kwenye shughuli ya mchujo tutakuelezea maeneo yako yatakuwa kipokea cheti lini na pia studio ni tukua tukiangazia county ya Laikipia ambayo ni mojo wapu ya maeneo ambako bado shughuli ya mchujo na bado utata uliozingira shughuli ya mchujo hauja tatuliwa tunajua kwamba katika uh, kinyanganyiro cha ugavana gavana wa county hiyo alikuwa meibuka mshindi lakini utata ukazuka kesi zikawasilishwa mahakamani na hatimaye mahakama imemnusuru je jubilee tamkabidhi cheti na utata ambao umekuwepo uli husunini tutakuwa tukikuletea mengi zaidi tukiwa naye studio ni gavana wa county ya Laikipia atueleze mengi kuhusu hatima yake na pia wewe mtazamaji tunakushirikisha katika sehemu yetu ya swala nyeti tukiuliza je uchaguzi mkuu ukiandaliwa na iwapo utaandaliwa leo unaweza kumchagua tena gavana wako je uchaguzi mkuu ukiandaliwa na iwapo ungeandaliwa leo unaweza kumchagua tena gavana wako kushiriki ni rahisi tutumie kauli zako kupitia nambari 2255 kwenye mtandao wa Twitter ni @zubaida kananu au @ktn news kutumia hashtag jukwaa la KTN kwanza tuanze kwa kuangazia vidokezo utata kuhusu utenguzi wa wabunge wa bunge la Afrika Mashariki wa jadili wa bungeni washindi kwenye mchujo wa jubilee kuanza kupewa vieti hapo kesho na katika swala nyeti tunaangazia hatma ya magavana wa sasa kwenye uchaguzi mkuu mtazamaji jina langu ni Zubaida Kome tuanze kwa kukuarifu kuhusiana na taarifa ambayo imetolewa na chama cha Jubilee kuhusu utoaji wa vieti vya wale walionyakuwa ushindi kwenye kinyang'anyiro uh, cha mchujo ambacho kiliandaliwa katika kaunti mbalimbali mtazamaji tunaona kwamba wale watakaopewa cheti kwanza ni katika kaunti ya Kiambu, Nyeri, Embu, Meru, Laikipia, Turkana Nakuru, Narok, Uasingishu, Baringo na Nairobi. Wote walionyakuwa ushindi katika kaunti hizo mtazamaji watapewa cheti hapo kesho siku ya Ijumaa. Tukiangalia siku ya Jumamosi washindi watakaopewa uh, vieti ni wale kutoka kaunti za Muranga, Kirinyaga, Taraka, Nyandarua, Kericho, Bomet, Nandi, Elgeyo Marakwet, West Pokot, Kajiado, Siaya na Lamu. Wale wote walionyakuwa ushindi katika kaunti hizo mtazamaji watakuwa kipewa cheti chao siku ya Jumamosi. Tuangazie sasa siku ya Jumapili tarehe 14 tuone ni maeneo gani ambayo yatapewa vieti kwa wale ambao walinyakuwa ushindi ambayo ni maeneo kama vile Mandera, Kisi, Vihiga, Bungoma, Mombasa na Makueni. Wale wote walionyakuwa ushindi katika maeneo hayo watakuwa kikabidhiwa vieti vya vyao siku ya Jumapili kundradhi. Siku ya Jumatatu ambayo ni siku ya mwisho, tunaona maeneo ambako washindi watapewa vieti ni kaunti za Isiolo, Kitui, Garissa, Tana River, Makueni, Machakos, Migori, Kisumu, Homa Bay, Transoia, Marsabit, Busia, Kakamega, Taita Taveta na Kitui. Mtazamaji wapo linyakuwa ushindi uh, katika maeneo hayo na kwenye kinyang'anyiro kilichoandaliwa utakuwa ukipewa vieti vyako kulingana na ratiba hiyo ambayo imetolewa na Jubilee Tuzidi kufuatilia taarifa hii tuingie sasa katika majengo ya bunge ambapo bunge la taifa dhuhuri ya leo limejadili taratibu za kuwateua wabunge wa bunge la Afrika Mashariki. Mojawapo ya mambo yaliyojitokeza kwenye mjadala huo ni pamoja na nafasi zilizotengewa vyama vya siasa watu wanaweza kuteuliwa kujiunga na bunge hilo pamoja na sheria za uteuzi. Swala so, hili limezua utata kwa muda sasa huku madai ya kuwepo mapendeleo vya mani ya kibuliwa. That every Kenyan has a right to political choice, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, my humble request to you, we must look at the candidates objectively, irrespective of where they are coming from, Mr. Speaker. Even if he's the son of the Vice President, let him be looked upon like any other. Let the people decide when it comes to voting, Mr. Speaker. We don't want to bring political hatred. We are there to exercise the vote, Mr. Speaker. So I don't see what is wrong if uh, Kalonzo's son is appearing on the ballot. So long as we have a choice, people will make their decision, Mr. Speaker. By the fact that they are related to us or they are related to this other uh, person. Speaker, is that the other side of 
the coalition, if they can give us options, two or three to choose from, we don't have a problem. As long as they meet the criteria, as long as they meet the qualification to be members of parliament. The names have not been brought to me. That's why I've told you, this may be in court. It's been premature. If the names have uh, landed before me from both sides, then I'll be able to make the decision. I've not see, received the names of the, of the nominees, the proposed nominees, so that uh, then we can uh, advise uh, the coalitions uh, accordingly. But please comply with those rules. Na kuhusu swala hilo ni kwamba chama cha Wipa sasa kimemteua mwanawe Kalonzo Msioka Kennedy Musyoka kuwa mbunge katika bunge la Afrika ya Mashariki. Kennedy Musyoka aliomba nafasi hiyo pamoja na wengine wanne ila yeye akapata kura nyingi zaidi za kamati ya uchaguzi. Kennedy ndiye msimamizi wa wakfu wa Kalonzo Msioka ambao mtazamaji umegonga vichwa vya habari kutokana na yale madai ya ubadhirifu wa fedha. Madai ambayo uh, Kalonzo Msioka mtazamaji ameyataja kuwa propaganda ganda za kisiasa We have arrived at the name of Kennedy Musyoka Kennedy Musyoka as you all know is the son of our former vice president Kalonzo Musyoka We went through the elections Kennedy garnered 22 votes Dr. Temi garnered one vote. Uh, Zachary uh, uh, Zaith Omolo Ouma nil votes. And Kennedy Musioka garnered 22 votes. So basically, it was only one vote. Three votes were abstentions. He has convinced us that the fact that he's the son of Kalonzo Musioka is a biological accident. We cannot deny him his right. If we deny him his right, it's like denying many other Kenyans their own rights. So as a result of that, this is what it is, and this is going to be our nominee to Yala, and we are presenting his name. If I deny this young man who has presented himself better than anybody else an opportunity to serve this country just because his father is a senior politician. He is a legal personality in his own right. He has a right like any Kenyan and he has conducted himself in a manner that has convinced 99 or 98% of the people who are here in the NEC na bado katika maeneo ya ukambani chama cha Wipa kimemteua Jackson Musyoka Kala kuania nafasi ya useneta katika kaunti ya Machakos kwenye uchaguzi mkuu wa Agosti 8. Hii ni baada ya seneta wa sasa Johnston Muthama kutangaza mapema wiki hii kuwa amejiondoa kutoka uanachama wa Wipa na hana nia ya kugombania wadhifa wa useneta wakati wa uchaguzi. Kala tayari amekabidhiwa cheti cha kuania nafasi hiyo na usimamizi wa chama cha Wipa. Viongozi kadhaa kutoka kaunti ya Machakos waliokosa kupata vieti kwenye mchujo wa vyama wamejitokeza kutangaza nia yao ya kuania nyadhifa mbalimbali za kisiasa wakiwa wagombea huru. Ukosefu wa haki na usawa kwenye shughuli ya mchujo umetajwa kuwa chanzo kikuu cha wao kugura vyama vya siasa hususan maendeleo chap chap. Kwa sasa wamesema hawana mgombea fulani wanayemuunga mkono kwenye kinyang'anyiro cha urais. Tayari wamebuni vuguvugu la wagombezi huria eneo la ukambani wakati wa wananchi ku, kupewa viongozi kwa lazima umepita na sisi tunashukuru sheria ya katiba ya Kenya na sheria iliyoko ya uchanguzi kwa sababu imetoa nafasi mwafaka sana kwetu wale ambao wengi wetu hapa uh, tulinyimwa vieti kwa njia za unafiki na kwa njia za kukosa demokrasia ingawaji kuna wengine kama mimi na wengine wachache ambao tumekuwa wakati huu wote tukiwa tumesimama kama independent nilikaa chini na mwananchi akaamua ya kwamba kwa vile nimewaomba kura za kutosha na vile wanaona naweza tosha kuwaongoza 
Machakos County. Wakaniambia mimi mwenyewe nisimame na kama independent candidate na ndipoza leo tumefikia kuungana sisi wote hapa pamoja na wenzangu. Uh, tukue na chama moja, tukue na chama moja, yenye tutakuwa tunatembea pamoja, tukiomba kura pamoja. Pana wa kaunti ya Meru ambaye ni mwenyekiti wa baraza la magavana nchini Pita Munya amewataka seneta wa Meru Kiraitu Murungi na mbunge wa Igembe Kusini Mithika Linturi kujihusisha kukoma kujihusisha na siasa zake pamoja na masuala ya chama cha PNU. Ameyataja madai yao kwamba chama cha PNU hakimungi mkono Rais Uhuru Kenyatta kuwa uongo mtupu. Amewataka viongozi hao wawili kujihusisha na masuala ya jubilee. Sijamchagua spokesman wangu Awe anasema kule naunga mkono na wapi sijaunga mkono. Yeye aseme yake. Wakati atakuja pande hii aseme mambo yake. Awaambie yeye ni nani anaunga mkono. Mambo ya munya munya mwenyewe atafanya nini? Atasema na leo niko hapa kusema ya kwamba kura ya 2017 msimamo wangu jabadilika na muunga mkono uhuru muigai Kenyatta kupata mula hii. Na chama cha PNU ndio ilikuwa chama ya kwanza kupitisha hiyo. Sisi ndio tulikuwa na, pas, na National Delegates Conference ya kwanza kupitisha mswada ya kwamba tutamuunga uhuru mwigai Kenyatta mkono. Mbea kiti cha ugavana kwa tiketi ya DP katika kaunti ya Nyeri Patrick Maina Munene Kairu leo amemtangaza Njeri Muhara kuwa mgombea mwenza wake. Munene amesema amemchagua mwanamke kuwa mgombea mwenza kwa kuwa iwapo atafanikiwa kuwa gavana wa tatu wa Nyeri serikali yake itazingatia haki za vijana na wanawake na wakazi wote kwa jumla. Patrick Munene ambaye ni mfanyabiashara shupavu mjini Nyeri ni mtoto wa marehemu Munene Kairu aliyekuwa mbunge wa Kieni na vile vile mmoja wa waanzilishi wa chama cha DP pamoja na rais mstaafu Mwai Kibaki Patrick Munene na Njeri Muhara wamesema kwa pamoja watairejesha hadhi ya kaunti ya Nyeri itakumbukwa kuwa wakati wa uchaguzi mkuu wa mwaka 2013 marehemu Nderito Gashagwa alichaguliwa kuwa gavana kupitia chama cha GNU na seneta Mutahi Kagwe kupitia chama cha NAC wenyeji wanasema ni ishara tosha kuwa wao hawamchagui mtu kwa misingi ya chama bali ni sera zake Commitment to establishing an inclusive, open and transparent government is unwavering and steadfast. I have listened to the voice of the women of Nyeri County, and it gives me great pleasure to introduce my running mate in this campaign and Deputy Governor-designate Mrs. Njeri Jori Muhara. The youth and women of this great county of Nyeri have always been neglected despite being the people who wake up very early in the morning to vote in every general election, we must surely make a difference and this must change. Hadi tunapumzika kidogo kisha tutaingia katika sehemu yetu ya swala nyeti ambapo tunakuuliza je uchaguzi ukiandaliwa ni wapi unaweza kuandaliwa leo na sasa unaweza kumchagua tena gavana wako tuelekeze kauli zako tutazijadili muda sio kwa mrefu usiende mbali